Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. Today we are tasting all of the summer Starbucks featured drinks and a couple of like things here and there that I thought felt pretty summery but maybe aren't necessarily like the featured beverages. I am so excited. I have had, I don't think I've had any of these drinks before. Oh, I've had the pink drink, but that's it. I don't think I've tried any of these. So this is gonna be real fun. While I do this, we're gonna do a YouTube tag, the 50 questions you've never been asked before. Should be pretty fun. So I've already put a straw in this one. I think we'll start non-coffee drinks and kind of move our way forward. That's what we're gonna do. Our first question on the YouTube tag is, what's your favorite candle scent? I am normally like a musky vanilla type person, like sandalwood and vanilla, or like tobacco and vanilla, that kind of thing. But I've been trying to like branch my candle scents out to like having seasonal scents. So right now in our house, we're like a very citrus, citrus and herb kind of vibe going on. But in the fall, it's like, the one I'm most excited about. It's like musky vanilla scents. So yeah, that's it. All right, we're gonna try the dragon drink. Each of these refreshers, they had like the fresher version and then they had like the drink version, which I think just added like coconut milk to it. I only got the ones with coconut milk because they look yummier. Okay. Mmm. Oh, this is good. I honestly don't think dragon fruit has that much flavor, but this has like something in it that's deeper than dragon fruit. Let's see what's in it. Sweet mango, it's mango and dragon fruit. That's why I love this so much. Mango is like one of my favorite fruits. I'm gonna have a hard time not drinking that whole thing. So good. Our next question, I should run through these faster than I am. What female celebrity do you wish was your sister? Definitely someone funny. I feel like maybe like Emma Stone, because I feel like we would be goofy together. What male celebrity do you wish was your brother? Um, Chris Pratt, I think. How old do you think you'll be when you get married? I'm already married. This one is the kiwi. Like it's called a star drink, but it's made with kiwi. And I think it's like got like little cubes of dried kiwi on the top, which I, I don't know how I feel about that. tastes like a Yankee candle store. I'm gonna put that like down there. Like that. Do you know a hoarder? <laughs> I don't think so. There is someone who drives around Asheville in a van that's like full of stuff and they think about them a lot. But like they, it's like filled to the ceiling. Can you do a split? I cannot, but I used to be able to back in the day when I was a, a youth. All right, this is the <laughs> pink drink. I've had this a bunch of times and I know it's good. I like this one better. The dragon fruit one, I like better than the pink drink. Mm, this is so good though. It's like tart. So we are out of the fruit vibes and into the coffee vibes. Let's start with the fruity coffee so that we can move our way to the chocolatey things. How old were you when you learned how to ride a bike? I think it was like three or four. I started really young. How many oceans have you swam in? I don't know. A lot. Three or four different oceans. Not like different beaches, but like ocean bodies. Three or four. I could be wrong. Could be significantly more, significantly less. I don't know. Okay, so this is the strawberry funnel frappuccino and this has coffee in it, which shocks me. Yo, that's good. You don't taste the fruit as much. It kind of tastes like an ice cream sundae it's where you're tasting mostly like coffee cream and then um, the strawberry is kind of like a topping. You know what I mean? I just think I'm gonna like these more, but this is good. How many countries have you been to? I should have read these beforehand because I don't know a lot. <laughs> we do the math off camera and you guys can come back. Okay, I, I, I'm i gonna stop counting, but I got to 13 and then if I were to get to more, I'd have to really think about it. So 
around 13, maybe like 15. Is anyone in your family in the army? Not currently, but my grandfather on my mom's side was in the army, navy, and the marines. No, army, navy, and air force. This is the funnel cream frappuccino. So it's like the funnel cake frappuccino, but without coffee. And they didn't put the strawberry on there either. And that is way too sweet for me. Whew. What would you name your daughter if you had one? It would be Charlotte, and then we would call her Charlie for short. Don't take it. I'm, a million people have taken that. What would you name your son if you had one? Well, we have one. But if we had another, maybe like, I don't know. I've never really thought about that. I don't have an answer. What is the worst grade you've gotten on a test? Y'all, I was not the best student. So, pretty bad. I remember one time in AP history, I just walked out of a test because I hadn't studied. And granted, like at the time, I had like a lot going on in my home life and I was working and I was playing sports and trying to keep it all together. And I was like taking AP classes and I didn't study for this test and I literally just like walked out because I like couldn't do it. So I guess a zero. It's weird to think about now, like as an adult, I wouldn't make that decision, but definitely did as a kid. This is the salted caramel cold foam cold brew. This is not for me, but I'm gonna go in for another sip. Mm. like that I don't know if it's because I've just had all these fruity drinks that like that just like does it isn't it but because I had a sip of this one actually I think the other day Obi would ordered it and I did like it but next to like all of these I need to like rinse my mouth out with coffee or something which brings me to the nitro cold brew just black I've never ordered this before it's not like the future drink, but I've just never tasted it and I thought I would. I'm using a lot of straws. I'm realizing after it's too, too late. We have a ton of straws here that I could have used. I'm sorry. I like that. Starbucks in general is a little dark roast for me. Like I like lighter roast coffees, so it's a little dark. It tastes a little burnt. But if it were like a blonde roast, I think I'd really like this. Let me taste this now that I've had this. Yeah, I think it was just like burnt coffee taste that I didn't like. So I'm gonna put this down here. And then I actually think this guy belongs there. I just had had so much sweet stuff that this tasted bitter. What did you dress up as on Halloween when you were eight? Maybe Pebbles from Flintstones? embarrassing. What was your favorite TV show when you were a child? I loved Sister Sister, Step by Step. That's the only two I remember really. Have you read any of the Harry Potter Hunger Games or Twilight series? Yes, yes, and yes, all of them. Would you rather have an American accent or a British accent? British. Did your mother go to college? No, no one in my family finished college, I don't think, other than my granny went, my mother went. A lot of people have gone, but I think I'm the first one to like finish. Are your grandparents still married? Three of my four grandparents have passed away, but my, they all passed away while married <laughs> to each other. My grandparents on my mom's side were together for like 50 plus years, super romantic. He was obsessed with her and it was really sweet. This is the ice chocolate almond shaken espresso. I think I need to like, Okay, I never get chocolatey drinks, but I want to like them. I want to get chocolatey drinks. I want them to be something that I enjoy, but I just don't normally. But I want to find one that I like, so I'm, I'm fingers crossed on this. It's fine. This is kind of a lackluster one, you guys. Okay, it goes here. Have you ever taken karate lessons? No, but I did take judo lessons in college from a friend of mine who did judo competitively. He started like a judo club and I went a few times because 
I'm an Enneagram 7. Do you know who Kermit the Frog is? Yes. <laughs> How old do you think I am? What's the first amusement park you've ever been to? Maybe Six Flags? Maybe Universal Studios? What language besides your native language you like to be fluent in? Well, I would like to be fluent in a lot of languages. I studied sign language in college and would not hate being like more able to use that. Spanish, I use a lot while traveling. I just remember two other countries that I've been to. <laughs> so. And yeah, French or Italian would be beautiful to know. How do you spell the color gray? G-R-E-Y is how I spell it. Is your father bald? I, well, my father's passed away. I don't know. Obi, when you met my dad, was he bald? No. Do you know triplets? Yes, I went to high school with triplets. I was very good friends with one of them. Do you prefer the Titanic or the notebook? Titanic, fun fact. <laughs> When I was in high school, I watched the Titanic 12 times in theaters because it went to the Dollar Theater and I didn't like to be home, so I went towards this. Oh, I'm sorry. This is the Mocha Cookie Frappuccino. Mmm. Well, that is a treat. Here, let's get through the rest of these questions and then I'll tell you about the drinks. Have you ever had Indian food? Yes, I love Indian food. What's the name of your favorite restaurant? I have a lot of favorite restaurants but probably Cucina 24. It's my favorite for like special occasions. Have you ever been to Olive Garden? Yes. Y'all, I was so poor growing up that I felt like Olive Garden was really fancy and I felt really embarrassed when we would go there. Like they were like, they thought we were white trash and I felt really out of place. Do you belong to any warehouse stores? Costco, BJ's? No. What would your parents have named you if you were the opposite gender? If you had a nickname, what was it? Um, SJ and SJ. People used to call me SJ. Who is your favorite person in the world? Our child, my husband, my best friends. I can't pick one, but I mean our kid, that's easy. Would you rather live in a rural, rural area or in the suburbs? Okay, so I think the suburbs feels really boring. <laughs> but I like to be close to things. Like I like to be able to like, be able to get to places within five or 10 minutes. So I think I would pick the suburbs. Can you whistle? Yes. Do you sleep with a nightlight? No, I actually have a hard time falling asleep if there's any light at all on. Do you eat breakfast every morning? Yes, I am someone who wakes up hungry. Like I'm like hungry when I get up in the morning. Do you take any pills or medication daily? I take two inhalers. I take a Simbacort inhaler and a like a rescue inhaler, which is, I can't remember what it, what's in it, what kind of medicine that is. And I just put in a prescription, yeah, prescription for birth control, which I haven't had in years. I'm going to see if I can tolerate this one. What medical conditions do you have? I mean, y'all know about my medical conditions. I have a kidney, like atrophied kidney. So fun. And I mean, basically like one of my kidneys is like really, really small. It doesn't like, basically doesn't work. And then my lungs have a lung nodule, which is from pneumonia that just like will not go away. And it's been there for almost two years. And we don't know why we don't know how to get rid of it and we are because of that kind of thinking maybe i have asthma but we can't really get diagnosed for that until this nodule goes away have you ever seen finding nemo yes where do you buy your jeans these are from anthropology but also american eagle has amazing jeans especially for larger sizes they're incredible what's the last compliment that you got probably from obi obi compliments me like every minute it was probably like oh girl you look so cute <laughs> that's that sounds like it do you usually remember your dreams in the morning sometimes yeah i would say i normally do wait i don't actually is that true <laughs> i was gonna say i remember the dreams that i have but if you have dreams every night i would say i remember a dream like once or twice a week so I guess that's a no. What flavor of tea do you enjoy? I'm really on a mint tea kick right now. It's really helpful for my lungs. So mint tea. I also like rooibos tea. I also like Earl Grey. And I like so just like black tea with like brown sugar and milk, like milk tea. How many pairs of shoes do you currently own? Like nine? Nine pairs? Maybe 10? What religion will you raise your children to practice? Um, humanism. How old were you when you found out that Santa I was actually five or six and I was one of the first people like 
well, the first of my friends, and I told a bunch of people, and then their parents called my mom and told me like not to tell. So that's cool. I found out because my brothers, hi brothers, I don't remember which one of you it was, I'm sorry if I'm attributing it to both of you, told me that because we didn't have a chimney on our roof of our house. So I cried and my mom was like, it's not real. And I was like, I guess that's better than the alternative. Do you have a tumbler? No, I don't. Okay. I have a ranking for us. We have number one, dragon fruit. Number two, our pink drink. Number three, the salty caramel cold brew. Come back, kid. Then we have the strawberry funnel frappuccino with coffee. Then we have the mocha one. This is like a milkshake. I don't know if I could drink a whole one of these or this one, honestly. These are all the like, I could tolerate this and I can drink them. Let's talk about the ones that I never want to put in my mouth again. Well, come on. Yeah, the chocolate almond espresso, shaken espresso, no thank you. The star drink, no thank you. The nitro cold brew, I would like this if it was blonde roast, but it's just too dark for me. And then the funnel cream frappuccino, that is all of them. And now I'm gonna eat this unicorn pop and call it a day. Thank you guys for joining me for today's video and I will see ya in the next one. Bye.